Hey guys, welcome back to Sin Blaze Total War Warhammer. And welcome back to episode 3 of my legendary playthrough of Isabella von Karstein. So, we are now in the turn 82, 120, I think. Um, as you can see, I consolidated my power nicely in this, I think I have 5, five provinces. Uh, Five complete provinces and uh, plus the that one little region that's part of the empire actually, but uh, which I'll hold on for now because uh, it's just next to next to Nuln on the left you see. It. So whenever there's a rebellion, I can simply sweep over with my garrison troop from Nuln and clear the rebellion. So. Now, in this episode, there is not going to be much going on, because it's really the phase where, um, uh, where I have to, to stabilize my kingdom and prepare for the coming first wave of Chaos Hordes, who not actually are hostile to me, but a uh, uh, little spoiler alert, I will declare war on them right away, because... It's usually a better idea because the other factions will fight chaos, and yeah, if you don't fight chaos, first of all, you get uh, as silly as it sounds, but you lose a lot of money because every time you win against chaos, you get money just because it's a fight and you win. As you can see here, the other factions there, some are trying to get to peace to get peace back with myself. And then others they declare war on me, even though we don't share any any borders. The I think the southern the southern princes will declare war on me eventually in this episode for no reason. They will not attack me. They cannot attack me. There are no troops to send to me, but they decided to be at war with me. So there you go. Um, other than that, uh, the most important thing is. Really, again, we, uh, I guess that's that's true for every faction with every playthrough, is to really uh, upgrade your cities as best as you can. Try not to sp uh, try to spend as little as possible in your military uh, at this point. Enough so you are strong, you stay strong, but not overspend it. So. Because everything you overspend in military, it's just a waste because you pay uh, upkeep for the troops uh, for nothing, basically. So you really want to keep the just the amount of troops that keeps your population happy and that doesn't invite your neighbors to attack you. Uh, and I think uh, I handled that pretty well in this, in this uh, playthrough. Uh, I think so, anyway. As you can see, the, the game is pretty stable. We have uh, big factions who all have consolidated their their regions, which all have uh, incorporated uh, other minor factions. We have the Empire on the left. On the top, we have the... Uh, I say it's Tabaland. Either Tabaland or Nord, or Nord, whatever. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's all really stable. And it's good. that's a good thing in this game. If, you have the, if the factions are stable... Uh, when the chaos invasion starts, then it's usually a lot easier to handle. As you can see, that's what I'm talking about. I take earlier, I can simply jump over with my uh, garrison from uh, Null, so I can keep these two regions uh, safe. And yeah, again and again, uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's really a good idea to have all your cities. Uh, walled up and garrisoned up with uh, the garrison upgrade. I mean, with the first of all, your cities to upgrade them to at least level four, and have uh, the big cities uh, at least least level one or better level two garrisons. L3 is good, but it's really expensive, so maybe for later on. But uh, cities with four and two, and uh, the small towns with three level three and level two garrisons, so they have walls as well. It's a must. Which will really pay out, pay off uh, later on, because uh, as soon as a gas, as soon as a city has walls, it cannot be conquered in one go. Somehow the AI doesn't attack a city with uh, uh, with walls. In they they lay siege and then attack the next round uh, at best. 
So, and you, uh, you have a lot of garrison troops inside which do not cost income, uh, which do not which do not cost uh, upkeep. So, it's uh, it's really like having a lot of armies running around that does that do not cost anything. That's really important. Um, also, uh, I noticed that especially the dwarves they have a a, a huge amount of agents. I mean, you know, this, uh, the engineers and uh, the TARS or whatever they're called, or whatever it's called. They have all of these guys, and they kept killing them later on, and kept killing them, kept killing them. It doesn't make any point. It's not, they, they just, every time you kill one, they just uh, recruit two new, I guess. But, um, so yeah. Maybe you don't want to bother with that. But they can be quite bothersome, uh, especially later on. Uh, a lot of the agents of the dwarves and the chaos they keep destroying my cities and damaging my cities and uh, killing my leaders and <laughs> yeah it's it's really bottom but anyway uh, in this episode yeah again it's not much going on it's really all about stabilizing the region getting all my provinces into the positive in uh, public order and upgrading the cities with uh, up in the city, so for income and for uh, everything. Uh, yeah, another thing I realized is that for some reason, nobody wants to be friends with me. I don't know, maybe it's because I suck blood or something, I don't know. But uh, basically, nobody wants to do anything. They declare war on me, and eventually they will ask for peace, but nobody ever signs a, a no aggression pact or <laughs> let alone a trade agreement. Nobody wants to trade with me. Nobody wants to do nothing with me. So I guess uh, the trade good buildings should really not be uh, of uh, of a priority. Only if you uh, if you don't can't build anything else and just because you, it gives some income, I guess. But do not build something because you want to have trade goods because nobody wants to trade with you. You are undead, people don't trust you, and it's really it's hilarious how bad my neighbors think of me, even though I never do anything bad on them. I never, seriously, I never attacked anyone, I guess, besides Averland, which was at war with the Empire at the same time, so it's not like I was doing uh, something evil. Uh, everything I attacked so far was only because I was declared war. Oh, no, that's not, okay, that's not true. I, act, I attacked Wordland. I, yeah, I attacked Wordland and then the other declared war on me. I conquered that region and they, since then uh, everybody hates me. Uh, but they let me live, so I let live and they let live. Um, but so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop the commentary now and just let it uh, the, the video run. Again, there is not much going on later on in this video. Um, I think in the next episode we will have the first uh, bigger skirmishes with the Chaos and uh, with uh, the Wood Elves coming up and uh, the, uh, the Empire and the Wood Elves they are really fighting the Chaos, the Dwarves are never doing anything and seriously the Dwarves are the worst thing in this game because let me tell you I have no problem with them with the, in this game I didn't attack them their, their allies attacked me at one point, uh, the green dwarf, the Karakian. But uh, we're at peace now, so that's all fine. But the dwarves, the, they, you don't see them fight the Chaos. I don't know if they fight in the mountains or something. Maybe they do, I don't know. But you never see them on the field. Uh, you will see uh, stacks, several stacks of wood elves and human and empires running around fighting alongside me to destroy... Uh, all the warrior, uh, the the chaos hordes, and the uh, Norsk and uh, everything, and it's really a valiant fight and everything. And you ever see the dwarves? And the moment the chaos hordes have been defeated, of, defeated for the first time, guess who's declaring war on me? Ha! Right, not the empire, not the wood elves, nobody now, dwarves, because apparently they can't help themselves. So, but that's that being said, um, I'll teach them a lesson. I will teach them a lesson. Oh, you, you wait for it. It will be so beautiful, so big, so great, so you cannot believe it. 
<laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, so hope to see you back soon with the next episode tomorrow. And uh, enjoy. Uh, please feel free to leave any comments, ideas, or questions. I try to answer anything uh, that comes across my desk or my comment section. And if you haven't already, then uh, please subscribe to my channel. It's not costing you anything, and you get notified whenever uh, there's a new video. Because I think I'm going to make a playthrough for every every faction in this game. I really like to uh, like to do it, and uh, I think it's legendary. That's somewhat of a challenge, at least at the beginning. It it gets actually easy the, at one point, but uh, it's nice to have at least the beginning. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.
Look out!
More sleep shines. Thank <laughs> you. 